I am way overdue to get my hair done, but not sure what I'm going to be able to get in. But as you can see, it basically starts to go green. So that's a cute look. But today I am here to bring you a book haul. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to even make book hauls on this channel. But I do have quite a few books that I've accumulated in the last two months. So I have everything I've bought since the beginning of August here and it is like the second week of September right now. I had not bought anything for a while. I have two like specific book trips that I've taken to purchase books. Some I ordered online and then I have my book of the month books. I do keep a pretty small physical TBR so actually these 20 books are more than half of like my unread books that I own. Uh, so I keep a pretty good pace in terms of reading as I buy. So I probably will get to all of these fairly fast, but let me know if there's anything I need to get to as soon as possible. There is a couple of these books that I've already read. Like I said, these are everything I've bought since August. And there's actually one that I've already read and decided to unhaul because I don't keep books that I don't enjoy. So I'll let you know when we get to that. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with my book of the month books. And so this is my picks for August and September. I did pick up two books both of these months. And yeah, so in August I picked up The Night Swim by Megan Golden. And I also purchased Home Before Dark by Riley Sagar. And I actually had already gotten this once from Book of the Month. And as you'll see with another book, Huck got to my first copy of this and completely destroyed it, which Huck is my dog's name if you don't know that. He usually doesn't get into things, but he's gotten a hold of two books recently. So I need to be more careful. But so I actually bought this for a second time and I did read this just this week and I gave it five stars. And then my picks for September, I picked up Anxious People by Fred Frederick Bachman and One by One by Ruth Ware. I've been in a thriller vibe, so I had to pick up the Ruth Ware. Um, and then next I'll show you what I picked up uh, separate from my two specific bookstore trips. So my stepmom gave me The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty because I read Big Little Lies recently and really liked it. So she kind of keeps track of my Goodreads and had seen that I read that. So she sent me over this. And then I picked up online Thunderhead and The Toll by Neil Schusterman, which this is the other book that Huck got a hold of, which this one he didn't really completely destroy, but that's a bummer because I really, really loved this series. And I think this is the only um, other ones that I've already read. And this was a five star series as well. All right, my next little stack here is a trip that I took to a half price book. So these are all actually used books that I picked up and I'll start with the one that I already read and I'm gonna be getting rid of. I read Every Breath by Nicholas Sparks. I gave this one star. I didn't like it at all. So this is, you know, in and back out. Uh, then I also picked up actually another one by Nicholas Sparks. I picked up Two by Two, which I still am gonna try to read even though I didn't enjoy that other one. And then I got... Uh, the Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. I got, because I'm so into true crime and I hear about this author all the time, when I saw this, I just kind of decided to pick it up. I'm not sure what I'll think. But I picked up You Belong to Me by Anne Rule, which is actually the second book, volume two, in uh, like this series that she has. But I don't think there's any reason to read them in order. I think they all surround a different like true crime case so I picked up this one I actually am really excited to get to this just because it's it's one of those you know it's not what's popular it's not I don't see other people reading it so I'm excited to see if I think this is actually good or not and then I actually let Chris go through the whole store and pick me any book he wanted me to read and this boy picked the Guardians by John Grisham. So I don't know anything about this, but I am going to get to it as soon as possible just because Chris picked it. So it's kind of a fun game. You know, he has no interest in looking at books while he's there. So I kind of sometimes send him on a mission. Pick me something. 
And then the last stack I have here are the books that I just bought um, yesterday when we took a trip down to like a bigger city by us. So I went to a Books A Million. We were actually going to drive further to like a Barnes & Noble and I saw there was a Books A Million and we stopped. And I bought more books than I needed to so we didn't continue on and go further. So the first thing I bought there was The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. I got One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. And I'm really interested in this because I don't read as much YA as I used to, but I've been reading a lot of thrillers. So I'm kind of interested in like in YA thrillers because it's it's not something that I really found available or maybe I just didn't have my eye out for it when I was reading YA. So I'm excited to see what I think of this one. I got this, which is on my immediate TBR for Bookopoly, so I'll be getting to it really soon, which is One to Watch by Kate Stamen London. I picked up on recommendation from Gabby at Gabby Reads. I picked up The Dream Daughter by Diane Chamberlain, and this one was actually in the bargain price, so it was only like seven bucks. And then I picked up The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. I picked up another one on recommendation from Gabby. I picked up The One by John Mars. I picked up Autobiography by Christina Lauren, which I've never actually read a Christina Lauren book before. And then this one I actually bought, I was talking to my mom a couple weeks ago about books she liked to read when she used to read a lot more than she does now. And she said she loved this book back in the day. So I've been... I've had my eye out for it and haven't found it anywhere and I found it on this trip and it's Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna and I told her I picked this up and she's really excited for me to read this. I didn't realize how big it was until I saw it in person but yeah so these are all the books I have bought recently. Let me know which ones I need to get to as soon as possible down below and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on Sunday with my vlog. Bye.